Behold, the World Wide Web, the global information space that's accessible via the internet. But where did it come from? Meet Tim Berners-Lee, born in London in 1955. The son of mathematicians, as a child, he loved electronics and built a make-believe computer out of cardboard. As a young man, he studied physics at Oxford University. After graduating, he worked briefly for CERN, the European Particle Physics Laboratory in Geneva, Switzerland. While at CERN, Tim noticed there was a lot of disorganized, unrelated information floating around. So he created a little program called Enquire. This program linked seemingly unrelated information together on his computer. Although it was short-lived, Enquire sparked the idea for the World Wide Web. In 1984, Tim headed back to CERN, and once again he realized the need for an information sharing system. In 1989, he proposed a project that would help connect everything going on at CERN. This project inspired the idea for a global hypertext system that would allow people to share and link together all sorts of data using the internet. The internet existed at the time, but it was mostly used by computer experts. <gasps> Tim's vision was to marry the internet and hypertext, a way of electronically linking information to create a global information space that would be beneficial to everyone, not just scientists. In 1990, Tim created the language, programs, and protocols for the project he dubbed the World Wide Web. In the summer of 1991, he made the web publicly available and invited the world to help develop it. Tim and his fellow visionaries spent years advocating the use and development of the web all around the world. The idea began to catch on, and by the following decade, the web and the internet had gained mass popularity. Today, the World Wide Web is an inextricable part of modern human existence that continues to evolve. 